Jamal, welcome to AFC Bournemouth. How pleased are you to be here? Thank you. Yeah. Over the moon to, to be here for this, this big club and buzzing to get started, really. There's obviously been a lot of speculation in the last 24 hours. Just tell us a little bit about how the move came about from your point of view. Um, like I say, it's, it's gone really quickly. Um, the last 24 hours, I've had lots of phone calls, but to finally to be here in Bournemouth, it's, it's been... It's surreal really, like having phone calls at home thinking, is it going to happen, is it not going to happen? And to finally get it through is, is a great feeling. And what was it about AFC Bournemouth that made you want to sign for the club? The, obviously the, the manager, the, the size of the club and the, the style of play. Obviously we, we come across Bournemouth twice last season and by far it was probably the hardest two games we had all season. So it was, it was a no-brainer for me. I was going to ask you about those games. You obviously played here as recently as, as March last year. For you, what were your memories of that game and, and the supporters as well? Just that we couldn't really, we couldn't keep up really. It was, I think it was, three, was it 3-0? Three 3-0, three yeah. yeah. and we, I just remember coming off the pitch thinking that was, that was probably the hardest game all year. Um, seeing the players and how good, how good it was right here really. It's like when the, when the call came, it was always going to be a yes from me. Um, for you, you've obviously just come into the building today. I understand you've already met some of the lads. How was that for you? And, and was that nice ahead of your first training session tomorrow? Yeah, it's obviously good to see to see some of the boys. Um, they was all very welcoming, so just looking forward to start training tomorrow. And for you, you've obviously had quite an interesting story for your career. You started at Barnet, and then you've had several spells at, at non-league clubs as well, even juggling being a PE teacher. For you, how's that sort of shaped your career, and what are the lessons you've learned from that early stages? Um, like, like you say, yeah, it's been a rocky journey, but um, I think it's just taught me to, to keep going, never give up, uh, stay, stay humble, stay grounded and, and keep working hard. Last season you were challenging at the top end of the championship, although it didn't end in promotion for you, you must have taken a lot from that and, and learnt about the league as well as during your time at Wigan as well. Of course, yeah, it was a, a big learning curve, um, a horrible experience, obviously losing the player final, but it's an experience that we'll have to learn from and, and use that as motivation to, to do better this season. Now, I'm not sure if you know this, but in the last four seasons, you've only missed five league games. Is there anything that you put that down to? Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite a, a lucky um, statistic that really, I, I don't know. I just do what I do and it stretch every day and hope for the best. You know, I've been quite fortunate um, injury wise. so. Touch wood, it stays the same. You've had success in the Ishman League with Hampton and Richmond Borough and obviously previously in your career you had a promotion with Portsmouth in League Two. Do you almost bottle that feeling and use it as motivation as something that you can hopefully try and achieve again at this club? Of course, yeah. You want to you wanna win as much as you can as a player. Um, and that's always the aim. That's definitely the aim at, at Bournemouth. And we all know that Bournemouth want and deserve to be in the Prem. So if I can just add a little bit and help towards that then I'd be happy. For your previous clubs you've played down the wing, you've played in the middle, do you have a preferred position or is there anywhere in particular that, that you'd see yourself more? Uh, that's a tough one, um, wherever I need to be really but um, more so on the wing I've played left and right, obviously played down the middle a bit for Swansea but comfortable in, in all three. I'd probably say wide left but wherever wherever needs be. And we're just at the start of an international break now. Is it a perfect time to sign for the club? You know, you get to know Scott Parker's style a little bit in training and, and get to bed in with the lads before the first league game next week. Yeah, yeah, it's a great time. Obviously, without a game being this weekend, you've kind of got the, the training days that you might not have got if there was a game straight away. Um, just to learn, to, to take it all in, to, to settle in, to, like you say, build relationships and push on for next Saturday's game. 14 goals in the league last season as well as an international goal as well for Jamaica. Do you set yourself targets at the start of each season and if so are there any that you've set yourself ahead of this season? Um, I try to, I try to um, just little either goals targets or appearance targets or like end goal season targets so it's just one where I've got something to strive towards and hopefully at the end of the season I can look back and say I, I made it or I, or I didn't make it. There's been plenty of supporters on social media who have voiced their excitement at you signing for the club. Now that it's over the line, do you have a message for them? Um, thanks. Obviously, I've, I've had some messages before it's even gone through. So obviously, thanks for the support and all the, the kind messages and 
looking forward to, to seeing you all next Saturday. I know it's a home game, so it'll be nice to get the fans in and, and play in front of the front of all the fans.